I want to do a real quick video here. Brother and the Lord brought this thing up of David Daniels speaking here November of this past year. And he does the thing about 1 John chapter 4, the spirit of Antichrist. And he definitely messes it up. And you know, you say, well, come on, you're judging the guy and whatever else. Brethren, we're supposed to judge. We're supposed to hold each other to a high standard. And uh, certainly anybody that's speaking out there. Um, you know, it says about that uh, First John chapter 4, verse 2. Well, actually, I'll start at verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. It doesn't say, believe, beloved, believe not every spirit that doesn't profess to be a Christian or whatever else. It's believe not every spirit. You test me. You test anybody out there. Uh, nobody is, is just uh, infallible and you don't test them or whatever else. Try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. This is a test. This isn't just some kind of cute little thing. You don't really have to follow it perfectly. It is a test. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. That is present tense. You can only say that about an eternal God. That's so important. It's not has come or he came or whatever else. It is, it says it, he is come. Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Very important. Verse 3, it, it repeats it again. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. It's plain. And I brought the thing about a out about Lawson and Charles Lawson failed it and and oh you you're attacking him and he failed the test it's as simple as that and you say well he was just quoting from memory he had his Bible open to it and you're gonna see David Daniels do the exact same thing here it isn't just you know he's quoting talking about the new versions and whatever else and he gets his words mixed up he says the text he he reads it right and then he comes back and as he's talking about it he he messes it up twice let's let's watch this what else can we learn about this person i'm preaching to you today after acts chapter 2 go to first john 4 3 mm -hmm. and every spirit that confesseth not that jesus christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, where you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. So the Lord God Messiah came in the flesh. Uh-oh. Lord God Messiah came in the flesh. Just did past tense. He just changed it. He's named Jesus. And anyone says it's not true, that's the spirit of Antichrist. Uh, that's not it. That's not it. That's lying. Um, everyone that says that it's not, anyone that says it's not true, you just lied. It says what's not true? That he came in the flesh. Well, that's what the new versions change it to. So he says the King James Version is, is come in the flesh. And everyone that says that, that Jesus, you know, that, that he didn't, you know, that he came in the flesh. If they're rejecting that, then that's the spirit of Antichrist. That's what the new versions change it to. How do I know? Because it says so here. Uh, no, it doesn't. It <clears throat> came in the flesh. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say that. Is is come in the flesh. You, you change the text. Continue. But in your modern Bibles, that Christ is come in the flesh is missing. No, it's not missing. It's it's been changed to has come. Okay, uh, that's again he lied. He flat out lied. Why? Why? Including there was a group called Gnostics that believed that you could think and say special words, kind of like Masons, and work your way up through the archons, the spiritual beings, up into godhood. It's called apotheosis or theosis. And you could work your way up through this by having special knowledge, gnosis, where you know, the idea that special knowledge gets you to move up the layers to Godhood. 
But see, they believed that you separate the man Jesus from the position Christ and from the idea of God. Even in religious science where I was raised, they believed that a human took on the Christ self and then manifested the Godhood. And that anybody can do that. In Unity, when I went to Unity School of Christianity, which is an occultic group, they teach that in your final reincarnation you take on the Christ self. Reincarnation. Okay, just stick with it here for a minute. He gets in, back into the thing and, he's, and he says about the text says, has come. Okay, just keep watching, which is what the new versions change it to. They still use the Bible, but they use it for their own purposes. But see, I right hear it says, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus, the man, Christ, the Messiah, and the King, according to what we just read, raised up Christ to sit on his throne of David, has come in the flesh. Uh, ooh, ooh. Um, he just, he's looking at his Bible and he says, has come in the flesh. Okay, this isn't just, you know, he's quoting from memory, brother. He just got kind of confused. He says, it says here, has come in the flesh. He looks down, has come in the flesh. He just changed it. Don't tell me, well, that's, that's uh, you know, just a, a, a mistake. or He just changed it right in front of your face. Let's do that again. They still use the Bible, but they use it for their own purposes. But see, right here it says, and every spirit that confesses. Right here it says, and he's reading it. Not that Jesus, the man, Christ, the Messiah, and the King, according to what we just read, raised up Christ to sit on his throne of David, has come in the flesh, is not of God. Is not of God. Um, what's going on here? Uh, I do believe that there are satanic spirits within church buildings, going to a church building and saying, "Oh, this is the house of God" or whatever else. I think that there's major problems with that, but uh, very clearly fail the test. You know, it's it's one thing if he says, "Well, you know, I think it should it could say has come," you know, whatever else. He's still wrong, but he's looking at the text. He's looking at the Bible and he purposefully misread it. Not once, but twice. First time he says came, Jesus Christ came in the flesh. The second time has come in the flesh. Those are both new version readings. There's a bad spirit there, brethren. Um, whatever you think about David Daniels, whatever you think about Charles Lawson or anybody else that failed this text, test, whatever, the test of... First John chapter four verses one through three. Whatever doesn't matter to me. Um, I'll say it again, just for the record. Um, Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, uh, and I mean that as in He is in the flesh in the Old Testament and eternity past. He is in the flesh in the Bible when He was there in the New Testament. He is in the flesh right now, and He is coming back in the flesh in the future. Um, he is eternal. So he is in the flesh at any time in history. Eternity past, eternity future, whatever you want to say. I don't care. Is in the flesh. Such an important statement when you get right down to it. And this man failed it. Looking at the Bible and saying it says, and he failed it. Uh, there's some serious problems there. I'm not going to support Chick Publications. Uh, the Graven Image thing. Um, there's a lot of other issues. Um... Sorry. Um, so that's going to be it. I pray you just uh, take heed to these things and be very careful who you listen to.